no. No, I, guys, I'm so mad. Today we are doing another this versus that experiment. Today I am going to be testing the Swiffer Wet Jet Mop versus the Oceder Bucket Mop. And I really just wanted to see which mop is going to do a better job of actually cleaning my floors. If you are new here, my name is Stacy. I love to do reviews and I also love to do this versus that, meaning I take two different brands or different products and I love to compete them against each other if you're interested in that. Be sure that you're subscribed, that you like this video because it helps me out a ton and that you also leave me a comment. I feel like the Swiffer Wet Jet Mop is able to mop things up and clean things up quickly and easily versus the Oceder Mop I feel like really gets a deep clean. However, I did want to go ahead and dive in a little bit deeper and see which one actually picks up more dirt. I wanted to swab my floors before I wash them and then I wanted to divide the area into two sections. One section I'm going to wash with my Swiffer Wet Jet, the other section I'm going to be washing with my O-Seater Spin Mop and then afterwards I'm going to swab both areas and see which one actually killed more bacteria and germs. days since I started that experiment the results are in I've been doing my best not to peek at the petri dishes so let's try and do this as much as we can together okay so again I'm super excited I'm also very nervous here's my prediction to be honest with you I think the spin mop is going to do a better job because it's actually utilizing like a squeegee mop and hot water and you're actually able to pick up more dirt so that's just my guess but we'll see okay so let's start with the petri dish with the unwashed floor keep in mind my floor is not filthy this is bacteria that you can't see that grows in a petri dish so, okay, so pretty, ugh. this is unwashed floor, right? We have all kinds of different fun stuff going on, right? Pretty disgusting. My floor wasn't like visibly filthy, but this is like the stuff that you can't see, right? So pretty nasty. Okay, here's the side I washed with the Swiffer. That looks a whole heck of a lot better. Like, let's compare that. This is unwashed floor, okay. Now let's do, no, no, I, guys, I'm so mad. Okay, so again, for reference, unwashed floor, right? Swiffer, pretty dang good. This is the bucket mop. Ah! I, I'm going to scream. I did not in a million years think that the bucket mop would leave behind more bacteria. To their defense though, the bacteria in here is different than what was on my unwashed floor. So I think what happened is the mop head, even though it was clean and whatever was on the mop head originally and in the actual bucket, there must have been like residue because this is a completely different bacteria that was left behind on the floor and it's very consistent in what type of bacteria it is. Whereas this has like four different strains of germs and bacteria. 
Let me take that same bucket mop and I'm going to pour bleach in it and I'm going to bleach the mop head and see if that makes any difference because I so want the bucket mop to win. Oh, because I feel like it gets such a good clean and it's better for the environment because you're not buying those Swiffer pads. I seriously thought the Swiffer would lose by a landslide because I was like, oh, you're just shoving dirt around. Okay, well. Okay, let's try it with the bleach and see if that makes any difference. Oh, I just sneezed so hard, I thought my eyelashes were going to fall off. Anyways, so I went ahead and I took my bucket mop and I cleaned it with bleach. I then took the mop head and I washed it with bleach, took it out. Then I filled the bucket with hot water and I added some bleach to it. And then I washed the floor and did the same test as I did before. So here's what I actually found. The spin mop with bleach. Okay. This is only two days of growth though versus five days of growth i'm just letting you guys know but the one with bleach is significantly cleaner but that's taking into consideration that you are going to clean your bucket with bleach right before you use it you're going to take your mop head and you will clean it with bleach right before you use it and you actually pour bleach into your water solution and then you'll have a whole lot less bacteria but if we're not considering bleach and we're just considering regular household cleaner but i'm shocked to say that the swiffer 100 percent beats out the spin bucket mop and you know the funny thing is i was talking to my husband and he was like well yeah of course like he wasn't even faced by it because he's like you have a giant sponge that's breeding bacteria and you're reusing it whereas with the swiffer you're taking the disposable pads you're using it once and you're supposed to throw it out which you know you're not continually growing bacteria on there and then reusing it which makes perfect sense but i'm just like so upset because i wanted the spin mop to be the better alternative or the better choice because it is more cost effective because you don't have to you know purchase those pads all the time and it's better for the environment because you're not throwing away those disposable pads all the time but it turns out unless you are very vigilant about how you clean and sanitize the bucket and the mop head you're actually going to leave behind more bacteria than when you actually started i guess what i'm going to do is i'm still going to use the spin mop because i think it does a better job cleaning visually so if you have a ton of dust and debris like when i was redoing our stairs we had a ton of debris after i sanded everything down if i had used the swiffer mop i would have just pushed that debris all over the house and I cleaned it versus the spin mop you know I was able to get in there wring it out rewash and actually pick up the physical dirt when it comes down to getting it clean as far as germs and bacteria it looks like the Swiffer mop is going to do a job simply because of the disposable pads my recommendation if you have either the Swiffer good job you're doing a good job cleaning your home if you have a spin mop you can still clean your home really, really well. Just make sure that you are bleaching and adding in a little bit extra bleach to the mop head, to the bucket whenever you clean your home. And that way you're visually going to get it clean and you're also going to get it clean on the germ level. I hope this video helps you guys. It was fun for me. Leave me a comment if you found this surprising or if you didn't and leave me a thumbs up because it helps me out a ton in the YouTube algorithm. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video.